Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Before we get into your reading Pisces, I want to give you guys a quick update. We have merch available now. You'll be able to find all of that information on the description box below. Uh, you'll be able to find hoodies, sweatshirts, um, t-shirts, uh, coffee mugs, all that great stuff, muscle shirts for this crazy ass hot weather <laughs> we've been experiencing. But anyways, all of that you'll be able to find on that link. So let's get right into your reading Pisces. Now this is, uh, as you guys can see, we've already pulled out the cards for time purposes. So let's jump right into your reading Pisces. Now for the month of August 2018, you have the Nine of Pentacles and this is in your communication sector. So the Nine of Pentacles is uh, debating or thinking about or acting as if you're single. So what this represents is for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, perhaps you guys have been going through difficulty or there's some type of instability that is connected to relationships and either you've had it or your partner has had it. And this could be you or this could be your partner. It is a general reading, but someone's fed up and there's definitely a feeling of uh, wanting to or desiring to embrace uh, singlehood. The nine of pentacles is a singlehood type of card. So again, there is a feeling or there's an idea or you guys have been pondering or, you know, thinking about perhaps is it best for us to walk away? Is it best for me to be single? Um, no matter how long you've been with this person, okay? For some of you guys, this could be a person that you've been for a very long time and it could be that they themselves, you find out that have been acting single. So again, be very watchful and mindful about that. Now, in regards to your finances, you do have the five of pentacles here and the five of pentacles is definitely talking about for some of you guys, you've been feeling a little bit of scarcity in regards to finances, um, money being a little bit tight. Nonetheless, because the nine of pentacles is next to this five of cards, uh, sorry, five of pentacles, this is definitely telling me that for the month of August, there's going to be a transition. Uh, a transition of opportunity. So what this means is for those of you guys that have been trying to get a job or have been trying to uh, change a job or go to another company or a different position, there's going to be a position to be filled for the month of August and that opportunity definitely comes through. For some of you guys that have already done interviews, uh, you'll be definitely hearing back from them and again, uh, they may not be paying you exactly what it is that you desire. Nonetheless, the promise for greatness, uh, the promise for stability, the promise for um, elevation is there. So take on this new opportunity for you guys. Okay. Now, when it comes to your challenge for the month of August, you have the four of cups. So the four of cups is a feeling of you are not really focused. Uh, you could have a lot of scattered energy for some of you guys. It could be that um, you daydream a lot. Um, and what this is telling you is basically you're not as passionate or you're not as ignited about what you're doing. So for some of you guys, it could be that you've been working at a company for a very long time and you just don't feel fulfilled anymore. And there is like this need to expand, to, um, you know, try new, uh, a new city to, you know, go to a different department to do something different. Um, because it's almost like a feeling of routine for you guys. So again, I do highly encourage you guys, instead of having all this scattered type of energy, I would highly encourage you guys to meditate, uh, to visualize, to do exercises of visualization and to pursue whatever it is that uh, ignites the passion within you <coughs> to keep it interesting. Um, and again, for some of you guys, there may be some opportunities that come about. I want to say the third week of August, do not fear if there, as an example, if the pay is not that great and it's a little bit like two, three miles uh, further than from where, you, where you're currently working at, my suggestion is take on that opportunity because you may actually end up getting the job and find out that you are extremely excited about it or that you actually love, learn to love that job um, or the duties that it entails. So again, I highly encourage you guys to do that. Now, in regards to your love and romance, you do have the Queen of Swords here. So the Queen of Swords is being very analytical. For some of you guys, this could be you or this could be your partner. Uh, this could represent an air sign, which would be a Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Uh, or you're taking on the qualities of this Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is like almost a feeling of like coldness, a feeling of I've had it, I'm not going to put up with it. Or being very judgmental towards your partner. Um, you know... 
for some of you guys that have been a long term or are currently married with this person, it could be that there, you don't see them as like passionate. You don't see them as like they're really, you know, putting their putting their oh, what's the word I'm hearing? Like you don't see them trying to your expectations. You don't see them trying as hard or you don't see them like having a lot of aspirations and there could be this feeling of stuckness or this feeling of like, you know what, I've had it and, you know, whatever it is, whether it's like not spending a lot of quality time or that they're away a lot or that they, they could be overwhelmingly always wanting to be around you and it's you the one that has that desire and that need to just breathe. Um, but I feel that for the month of August, there's definitely going to be a feeling of like, you guys are not really in tune together. You're not really communicating. Uh, and it has a lot to do because one or the other is being extremely judgmental of the other at the moment. So my encouragement to all of you guys is keep communication open, you guys. Uh, know and understand that the other person cannot read your mind or that you can read your partner's mind either. So it's very important communication is key to any successful type of relationship. So keep that in mind. For those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, I do see you guys dealing with an air sign. Um, and this person could be very intimidating or come off as being extremely intimidating. Nonetheless, they do have a soft spot. So try the best you can not to be very quick to judge them and to be like, I can't or I'm not interested or whatnot, because you'll soon come to find out that this person is actually uh, has a lot of commonalities with you. So my suggestion is be patient and again, try the best you can not to be so judgmental. Now, finally, with your spirits advice for the month of August, you do have here the Hierophant. So there is a need for you to connect with spirituality. There's something about spirituality or higher learning that is very important for you guys. For some of you guys that are currently dealing with the instability of not knowing what to go for or what type of job to get, Spirit is telling you that there is a need of expansion and learning and knowledge. So, you know, if you guys are thinking of going back to school, now is the time to do so. Now is the time to actually go towards trying to achieve or get higher learning because this is definitely going to directly impact your finances and your stability in the long run. Now, for others of you, it could be that you're dabbing into the spiritual realm or looking more towards being more spiritual. And again, Spirit's advice here is definitely try the best you can to learn um, learn from people that are very passionate about what they do. Uh, try to get as much information or as much knowledge from them. And also, do not do not be afraid uh, to learn different types of practices or spiritualities or yoga or anything that is um, that may not be considered normal or that may not be considered uh, the norm. Again, um, you know, follow your heart, be true to yourself, Pisces, and you'll quickly start to feel like everything starts to fall into place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.